So what I want to do for you guys is be of help to get your 2019 off to a really good start. Hi guys, what's up? And happy Wednesday on another walk with me, Louisa. Beautiful day in Maria Del Rey. Just wearing like shorts and a tank top, honestly, in December. It feels great. I started my, eating my breakfast around 1 and I felt like I couldn't finish it, so I was like, let's go for a walk and then I'll finish it when I get back. Two hours later. Alright, we out here on Venice Beach here with David and Nick. Hey! We're about to ride some birds. Burn it up! Hey! <laughs> Eagles. It's all about them birds. Wongo. Yes. Tell them, tell them what you're about to do. I'm about to ride the bird. Is it your first time riding the riding the bird? Yeah, by myself. Well, I'm probably <laughs> gonna I'm probably gonna be the slowest out of everybody, but it's okay. Sam's got her bird. Sam, what are we what are we about to do? We're about to bird it up on Venice Beach. Is this your first? My first ride by myself. Ooh. Sunset. I had an awesome time riding the scooter. It was amazing and I'll insert the clip from Nick's phone. them like every single day so for dinner i have chicken zucchini noodles and sweet potato fries it was good not really fries but like baked sweet potato hope you guys are enjoying the video so far so as you guys can see i'm in a different gym and i actually got a brand new membership at equinox and i did this because i want to actually go to a gym with more equipment i would like it to be really nice so when i film it's easy to like focus on the exercise it looks nice sort of just investing in my content and really just want you guys to be able to see me pretty clearly and um just for it to look really aesthetic honestly so i am really excited for this new journey at this new gym and I hope you guys enjoy it as well as far as like all the new exercises that are coming and me just really sticking to something. This is an investment in my health and myself and also to help you guys at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. I'll let the music play for a little bit and then I'll see you in the next clip. Love you guys. <music> We just got some Air One and I just finished the gym a little bit ago. So I got some steak, some uh, autumn, I think it's called autumn vegetables, and some basmati rice for my post workout. And it looks so yummy. What's up? So it's like 1 30 in the morning and I had gotten my workout, went for a walk with Milo, and now uh, Nick is actually giving him a bath. I'll show you what they're up to. So this is what goes down when Milo gets the bath. There you go, Milo. <laughs> I'm gonna clean your eyes. Yeah. This is what Milo really looks like. So you are so so beautiful, baby. Morning coffee going down. Hey. Feel that foam? Yeah, I like to put that the spoon. Alright, so I need to work on this hair, but this is my morning shape. Yeah, okay. 
Yo, me tell them. Yo, guys. Hurry, hurry. I wanted to do it. Air one zero. Getting some air one. Bye. <laughs> We got air one round two. The last two meals are back to back have been air one. So we got salmon, sweet potato, and I think broccoli with collard greens, I think it is. The lady recommended it. She said it's really, really good. So I was like, you pick what will be the best vegetable salad. And she picked this one. All right, guys. So I just got some ice cream on Abikini here with Nick. Right here. You got to see this thing. Wow. What's up, guys? It's a vegan flavor. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What's good? We're out here living life to the fullest. What's up? Yes. Bop, bop, bop. We're here with Sarah and Meg. Twins. Say hey. Hey. Hey to the vlog. Oh, hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Okay, out here on Abikini. It's beautiful on a Friday. And we got some ice cream, walk around, got some content. And, you know, treat ourselves for the content. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. So I haven't barbell squatted in a really long time. As you guys know, my apartment gym just had a Smith machine. So getting back into squatting, like really working on my form again, getting seeing a lot of strength with it again is something I'm really, really excited about. Um, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I've gotten to points where I've actually squatted 210 pounds. So to get back to squatting and seeing my strength go up is something I'm really looking forward to. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a little bit. What's up, guys? Good morning and happy Saturday. So I just made some breakfast for Nick and I. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. It really is already. I took my love for a walk already. And I just sat down to make some food because I was feeling hungry. And I have some eggs and avocado and spinach and sweet potatoes this morning. No oatmeal. Uh, I had these leftover. I was just feeling that, so it's just a little bit of a difference. And then I made Nick add a little special love to it. Uh, egg, spinach with Himalayan salt on sourdough bread. We only have sourdough bread in this house because sourdough bread is fermented and it helps with your digestive system and doesn't spike your insulin like the other breads do. So like if you're going to choose an option for bread, sourdough is the is the healthier option but you know i'm not disregarding like the rice breads and stuff it's just like your typical if you're going to choose between like your typical wheat white rye um as compared to sourdough it is a little bit of a better option so yeah that's we're gonna, gonna eat some breakfast and get to some work for the day what's up guys so i'm headed to the gym right now i'm not planning on filming there today but headed to the gym driving to the gym it's so different now but i'm gonna get in a really good workout and i'll see you guys in a little bit today was a progressive overload day and my eyes are like all red and blood shot. Hi guys, so since we are nearing the end of 2018, can't even believe it, a whole another year has gone by, which is a great year. It's been a great year of learning, growing, uh, just breakthrough, stuff like that. And I can honestly say that I'm so grateful for all the experiences that I've had in 2018. I know 2019 is going to be even better because every day gets better, honestly. So what I want to ask you guys is how are you going to make 2019 an even better year than this year? Do you have things written out? Are you thinking things in your mind? Do you have any type of plan? And like how are you going to go into 2019 really strong? And I remember there would be years and even like last year, year before, like I would say things and I didn't really have a plan and I wasn't really sticking to the things that I actually wanted in my mind. So what I want to do for you guys is be of help to get your 2019 off to a really good start so what you could do first I always talk about like journaling having things written down I have one myself and what I recommend is just writing the things the realistic goals that you have for yourself in 2019 you can think really really big don't don't think that there's anything that you can't achieve but I want you to write them all down you know just putting it concretely like into somewhere from your mind is going to reinforce in your mind that that's the things that you want and that's the things you're going to achieve and another thing is how what's your plan to get there you don't have to think of the plan right now um but how do you have to have a plan in order to see things through like for instance when you build a house nobody like just starts building a house 
they know what it's going to look like before it's even done being built there's an entire blueprint there's an entire plan and then you start building the house so i would say like having some sort of plan is going to make you feel so much better you're going to feel like your goals are so much more realistic and you actually like have an idea of how you're going to get them done so i would say planning is huge you don't have to plan out every single day but like having some sort of plan will lead you to greater success and will get you there faster you might be able to get to your goals without a plan but it will take you a little bit longer through trial and error and i would say if you have like health and fitness goals um are you looking to get a coach like do you have serious goals that you know that you definitely want to achieve before the summertime because let's be honest summer bodies are made in the winter and you don't want to be that person like hitting like may and you're like wow i didn't even didn't even try and didn't even put an effort towards achieving my goals um and getting ready for summer when i wanted to at the start of 2019 like this is your time to do it right now and i will be opening up spots for people who are actually serious who it's like a hell yes like i am committed to myself i'm ready to invest in myself and wanting to make a change so i'm going to be opening up spots and all you have to do is fill out the type form below and uh, we can hop on the phone and talk about the specific goals you have and if it's a hell yes I want you to feel your best in 2019 and we're gonna get you there in the best way possible so yeah I want you to ask yourself a like do you have a plan figure out that plan and you know congratulate yourself for the things that you did accomplish in 2018 that got you to where you are today because you know it's a very easy to like focus on stuff that you want and then forget about the stuff that you've actually achieved and accomplished whether it's mentally whether it's physically um i would say for myself it was more of a mental transformation and i'm slowly like seeing lots of changes day by day uh i know 2019 is going to be my year physically but you know i'm mentally i've been i've had such a hum humongous transformation as far as like feeling good inside learning to take care of myself learning to think more positively and just like have a better outlook on life you know life is beautiful it's so amazing and you know there's it's so easy to get wrapped up in certain things and think about things too much and get really stressed out but you know I, I would say I encourage you not to take things so seriously and realize that things don't have to be as hard as you might think they are. And, you know, there's people out there who are, who are willing to help and there's people out there to connect with and there's experiences to have. And I encourage you to take every opportunity to really do something for yourself and feel the best that you can about yourself. So congratulations for getting through 2018. We're all here in this day. You're watching this video. Um, you know, that's something to just be proud of in itself so i encourage you guys to make 2019 your best self and it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm only taking on a limited amount of people for 2019 it'll be like a certain per time period and i'm going to make a cut off about the third week of january and then that'll be it so for three months i'm going to take a group of people who are actually serious about their goals who really want to make a change and who are ready to have a kick-ass summer body because you know like i said summer bodies are made in the winter time you can't expect to have a drastic transformation in just two months into summer so you know it's important how we feel how we look outside is a reflection of how we feel inside and that's um, something i don't really talk about too much because i was in a place where i didn't like the way i looked outside but then also i wasn't feeling as good as i could feel on the inside so working on my insides how i feel my mental health and just seeing positive changes on the outside without going to extremes so all right well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't and as always i will definitely see you in the next video bye